Hey guys, how are we doing? Eh, I wanted a little adventure today, and I'll show you what I got. I originally had uh, went out to a couple of thrift stores. Uh, I'm a thrift store junkie. I like uh, I like looking for old Carhartt clothes and whatnot, work clothes. So um, I snagged this mech. piece um 79 cents and then uh a drill 49 cents and an oiler can um for the collection dollar 99 it's got a little bit of a uh, beginnings of surface rust on the uh bottom but I'll show you the inside. I don't think this has ever held oil. But you see how clean that is? So, two bucks. This makes uh, 20, 23 or 24 for the collection. And I also snagged some some work clothes. You know, I get I get work t-shirts and whatnot at thrift. So on the way back from the thrift stores, uh, I stopped at a garage sale, and everything you see here I, I picked up. Um, first thing I got it was five it was five bucks. And it's this bench grinder, and it's a bench top six inch. Now, this is made in Taiwan uh, for Kmart, if you remember that store. Uh, but it's a half half horsepower motor and uh, 3,500 RPMs. Manufacturer date of 1992, and I just plugged it in. I didn't even test it. She told me it worked. I took her word for it, but I uh, plugged it in. Works great. Bearings are good. So, anytime there's a cheap bench grinder, I'm buying it. Uh, I use these a ton, and I think I have about nine of them now. But uh, if one craps the bed and is beyond repair, then I just move over to the next one and grab it. I only, I only keep two of them going at the same time. But uh, I have the 8 inch and the 6 inch going right now. But uh, I like to have backups because I use these a ton. So, 5 bucks, not bad. It's got two stones with it. One of them needs uh, a little bit of work. Um, that one's pretty smooth. So, what I'll do is take this apart, clean the inside, clean the outside, probably repaint it, clean up the plexi, or possibly even replace the plexi safety guards. Uh, I'll get it as, as good as it. As nice as I can. So, uh, what else? Then um, I, I asked her if she'd throw in these magnets, and she did. So, for five bucks, I got the, the grinder and then two of these magnetic strips that I use in here to hang tools. And uh, I'll definitely put those to use. Next, I got um, all this came from the same lady, and she had other stuff. Uh, I, she had a real nice ladder. It was one of those ladders that was like you could flip it up uh, t for a prop ladder, or or you could have it an A-frame ladder. It was, it was nice. Uh, I tried to get it off for the twenty. She said it wasn't included in the sale, but she did say, "Oh, would you give me?" I told her twenty. She said no. I said thirty. She goes. She thought about it, but she passed, and uh, I didn't want to spend any more than that. So I passed on the ladder. Uh, but this flat cart, this wooden cart. Um, I already have one of them, and uh, I've used it a ton. They're super handy to have in the garage, whether it's uh, transporting a, a drill press or something else. My welding table is several hundred pounds, and I actually transported that from the driveway into the garage on the wooden cart that I already have. Now, it broke the bolts on the, on the old casters, so... I upgraded the bolts and uh, fixed that up. 
And these, uh, this might be a Harbor Freight one. It doesn't seem like it's got, you know, the casters are basic, but it'll still hold up uh, to some decent amount of weight. Now, they put a piece of plywood in here, which is a good idea. And uh, I actually have been meaning to do that with my other cart. Uh, what I don't like is that uh, it's not cut even. It's 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 short, so I'm not gonna. That's gonna drive me nuts. So at some point, I'll replace the plywood with a proper fitting piece that'll go all the way across. And uh, I'm gonna look in the stash and see if I have any uh, better casters to put on this. Uh, but this will be put into rotation and used. Um, I have uh, my floor standing uh, Delta Milwaukee drill presses on one of these carts right now. They're, again, they're just super helpful. I have a generator over there in the back of the garage that uh, I'll probably throw on this. But uh, I, I actually wanted another one of these and that's why I picked it up. Uh, it was three bucks. Uh, next, I got this uh, tank, this propane cylinder, and uh, I actually just bought a brand new one of these uh, from Tractor Supply the other day, but, and this one appears to be full, uh, but anyways, I got this, <clears throat> and it came with all this stuff here, the four... Uh, The four tips, two of them are the Benzomatics. They're all, all four of them are brass, uh, and some solder, solder core. You know, just a little acid core solder. Uh, just uh, various. Pieces of solder, so that's cool. Uh, that was three bucks for all this. So, you know, I saw these in the store. Even just these manual uh, igniters are thirty something dollars for the brass ones. So that's what I use now. I, I just have one. I light my lighter and I hold it up to this, and it and it sparks, and that's fine. I don't need a. a I'm not going to spend fifty bucks and get one with a button. Not a big deal if I have to light it. So. Uh, three bucks for that. And I was looking at this, uh, I was eyeballing this Stanley uh, ball peen hammer. This is the 48 ounce, so it's pretty good sized. Uh, but I was eyeballing this the whole time, and she said 50 cents. Um, so it needs a handle, and uh, I need to grind that those weld beads off there. Which, no big deal at all. And it's funny because um, I almost bought some of them too. Dollar Store near me, it's called Real Deals Dollar Store. And they have, uh, it, it's, a, it's better than Dollar Tree. It's, it's, they have nice stuff. Uh, you can find Rust-Oleum paint there all the time. Um, so this is the 318B. Anyways, uh, they have American-made replacement hammer um, handles. Wooden ones, nice wood grain in there, uh, a buck a piece. I almost picked up four of them the other day. I didn't, but um, I'll, I'll grab one for this, and I'll have a new handle on it. I'll smooth the metal out. Um, but for 50 cents, uh, that's a good hammer. Definitely a good hammer. And then last, I picked up uh, these three double-ended uh, double-ended axes. And these longer ones look like about three foot, and then this looks like it's about two foot, the shorter one. So, uh, the heads are, are rusty, and they've probably been sitting around for a bit. Uh, but they were, uh, it was five bucks for all three. So I got three for five on these, and I think that's a good deal. So, yeah. So I'll get to cleaning these and maybe even do a little sharpening on the edges. That handle's kind of messed up on the one edge. But for five bucks, I really couldn't go wrong, so. 
So grand total, let me do the math here. Uh, eight bucks, 11 and five, uh, 16, 16.50 I guess. Five, 10, 13. Well, 16.50 I paid for everything. Besides the uh, oiler can and the tools there, but pretty good deal I, I think. Um, and then on the way home, it's funny because uh, I got this Husqvarna push mower here, and uh, this air filter housing cover. One day it was gone, and I've I've looked everywhere, and, and I bought this foam filter, but I looked everywhere for this thing I mean I, I took a rake and I and I came out pulled the bushes up and everything else and I, I'm kind of stubborn and I don't really want to order a, a replacement knowing that the uh, original one is out there somewhere so I'm gonna scour the earth trying to find that but long story short uh, the lawn's getting longer so uh, somebody was throwing this out and we uh, pulled over and I grabbed it, and the owner came out, and he told me that it needs a filter, air filter, and a spark plug. <clears throat> I took the spark plug out, and I gave it the uh, little wire wheeling, and I uh, cleaned up the air filter. It's a sponge. It was totally caked, so I brushed that off as, as best I could. Uh, it's not starting. I've primed it. It's got fuel, so I'm going to take apart uh, the carburetor and clean that out. Hopefully, I get this thing going. It's so, a Briggs & Stratton motor, it's three and a half horse, MTD yard machine. It's like a 20 inch, you know, it's probably just a cheaper machine, but you know, I don't need anything fancy. And before I go out and buy a new one or a new part for the Husqvarna, you know, the John Deere's been out of commission for about a season now. Needs some work on the top end of the motor. The uh, yeah, a little catastrophe, nothing major. The uh, flywheel fan, plastic flywheel fan, actually, uh, <sighs> somehow it made contact with a metal grill on the top, and it did some damage uh, with the fin and whatnot, so that needs some work. I'll get that going eventually, but for now, I'm just using the push mower, but that's it. just wanted to show you the new stuff I snagged. Uh... Then I got the big vise over there is ready for paint and primer. So at some point I'm going to clean that up real well and throw some paint on it. And I'll, I'll be sure to bring you along with me when I get that going. But I'm going to get this carb going and uh, try to get this machine rolling here. Appreciate you guys. I hope you're uh, staying cool. I know it's about 90 something here. I'm sweating to death already. So appreciate it guys. Take care.